the transitions of Damian Maia. Beautiful sweep. You know, they talk about the great athletes who make it look effortless, and that's what Maya does when he goes from position to position. Maya looks exhausted here, though. This has been a grueling fight. And then they, he had a bit of a tough cut. I saw him working very diligently to get down, and he's still somewhat new to this game. And the one thing he has is these great skills on the ground, as good as anybody's, as he continues to get and earn respect and earn experience, he could be a serious contender for the middleweight title somewhere down the road. And Jason McDonald showing a lot of improvement himself. He's, oh, getting, sure. he's getting eaten up here with some big punches, though. A little short, undefended punches, but he's okay. Father of four, Tristan Keel, Jet and True. Oh, he's got the arm under the chin here, Mike. He's got the back. Superior drinkability. Man, here you see it right here. We can't see it from that position, but Damian Maya had his arm deep underneath it. There we go. Deep underneath the chin. Never got the hand behind the head, but just good leverage there and forced it with his legs and just squoze tight and forced Jason McDonald to tap out. Valiant effort by Jason. Maya trying to serve his position. Maya's got his back. Maya looking to finish here. Oh, bad spot Can for he Maya the Jensen. Yet? He's got it. It's deep. Oh, my. Can Jensen get out of it? Jensen's doing one a good job of controlling one of those hands. Very difficult. If he can control one of the hands, very difficult for a guy to choke you with one hand. But Damian Maya is getting close to choking him with one hand, especially if he can get that second hook in. Right now, he's only got one hook. He can get his right leg in between Matt Gr Brian Jensen's leg and his body. He's got it right there. That's the second hook. Brian's doing a good job of holding that off. But when he did, it's all over. You see here, Damian Maya's got the back, but he only has one hook in. He's trying to get that second hook in. Now, as Ryan Jensen tries to defend that second hook, he immediately sinks that choke. That's a split second. A split second of an opening right there was all he needed to get that arm free, sink that choke in fully. See, see Ryan Jensen? See how he tries to defend that hook? He wants it, bang. He uses that opportunity to sink that choke in for the tap. And that was the official end. Successful. And now, talking to Greg Jackson and Carlos, they've got an interesting game plan while Carlos is back is on the mat. Let's see what he does here in half guard, but they said if he gets flattened out, he's going to go to full guard and look really mainly to elbows. Instead of wasting energy to get up, they want to attack, attack, attack. Slice Damian Maia up with elbows and strikes. Maya, truly a lifelong martial artist. Second longest win streak in the division behind Stephen Thompson's seven fight win streak. He is so heavy here. Nothing flashy, but step by step. Look at pushing on the knee, immediately shoving that left knee to the floor, looking to get straight to mount. And now the back. This is not good for Carlos Conn. Fourth degree Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt on your back. Here early. Fresh. No sweat yet. Very dangerous. He is so hard to shake out of this position. Ricky Lundell right there next to Condit, his wrestling coach, his grappling coach. This is bad. This is where he finished Matt Brown. He only needed one arm. Can and he, he just... get it? Here it goes. is all over. He's on his takedown attempts. Once he gets Carlos flat, starts working in, in half guard. And from there, got the mount, transition to the back. And he's so dangerous here. Traditionally, you need to see a guy lock this choke up, have their form under your chin. Maya doesn't need to. He squeezes so hard from the sides that he actually shuts off the blood flow from the sides of your neck. He does not need to be completely under the chin. And there you see the tap. There's just no choice. He's just that good. Dave Only a matter of time. So yeah. taking the back and controlling the back. Controlling the back. Great. And if you wouldn't mind, I wanted you, like, when you're on somebody's back, uh -huh. and the person... He was at first you were on his knees, right? Yes. He was on. Yes. You were on top of yes, him. It was like this. Yeah. So the first thing I don't want to slip to the side. I wanna, you know, I want yes. my hips should stay. On so 100 percent control. Yeah. Now you and you, you look like a crab. You just lock onto him, and yeah. when you fall over, so I push a little bit and I start to control. I don't want him to slide down. Yes. Also, and I start to pass one hand here. 
Got it. And this is fairly easy. It yeah. looks fairly easy today. And Carlos is a good guy. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. I've trained with him before, and Ricky Lindell, they're great coaches. So I was just impressed as to how simple it was. Now, did you lock like this? Did you hold your hand? Uh, with the, like I said, with the MMA gloves, sometimes it's hard to do the yes. right choke, which is this, you know, with the back hand here. So sometimes you just put here, but then the guy will hold, and then I slide you here. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. You know, when I slide you here, then it's hard. It's just some... You need to adapt a little bit of because course. MMA is a sport, it's not self-defense, yes. right? But Jiu-Jitsu is so great. Three Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on your back. You're early, fresh, no sweat yet. Very dangerous. He is so hard to shake out of this position. Ricky Lundell right there next to Condit, his wrestling coach, his grappling coach. This is bad. This is where he finished Matt Brown. He only needed one arm. Can and he, he just... get it? Here it comes Damian Maya chokes out Carlos Condit just like that. Damian Maya goes in for the high crotch, and he's gotten really good at his adjustments on his takedown attempts. Once he gets Carlos flat, starts working in, in half guard, and from there, got the mount, transition to the back, and he's so dangerous here. Traditionally, you need to see a guy lock this choke up, have their form under your chin. Maya doesn't need to. He squeezes so hard from the sides that he actually shuts off the blood flow from the sides of your neck. He does not need to be completely under the chin. And there you see the tap. There's just no choice. He's just that good. <laughs>
submission finish. And Neil has to pick his poison here. Either he rolls towards his left to try to get that body triangle off, but if he does that, then he exposes the choke more. Maya looking for his seventh submission victory inside He's the tapping. octagon. He's, He's got tapping. it. Damien Maya, winner by submission. Note how he does this, Mike. He sets up the hook. Look, he's got the one arm trapped. See how he's got the right arm trapped? Then he throws the right leg into play. Gets that body triangle. Puts that butterfly underneath the left knee. Now Neil's in trouble. He's got the body triangle constricting down on Neil's body, squeezing on that rear naked choke, and Neil Magny's just, just done there. In the oh, there we go. Uses it to maybe pass. Beautiful sweep. Look at that pressure as well. He's going to be a mount oh, with two minutes left. Nice work there by Meyer. Short cuts his way, looking for the mount. Possible, possible uh, back take here. Looking for that wrist control if Askren turns his back. Yeah, he got that hook in. Over for a body triangle now. Damian Meyer is tied for the second most submission wins in oh. UFC history. Oh, this win trouble. Ben has got to try to Beautiful, look at that Look at that punch through by Damian Meyer You can see the grimace on Ben Askren's face He's struggling for air Oh, it is a touchdown Damian Meyer showed through Uses that heel hook just to threaten it To get on top Gets the back, takes the body triangle And this is just classic Damian Meyer work here Once he gets on the back Flattens you out and yet yeah, has the, the foot even hooked around that knee. And let's he, take a look here. He punched that through so fast that you can see Ben Askren, the grimace on his face here. And he taps, but I don't think the rest of realized it. it was one tap. There it is, and he's out. Maya trying to observe his position. Maya's got his back. Maya looking to finish here. Oh, bad spot can for Maya he Jensen. Yeah. He's got it. It's deep. Oh, my. Can Jensen get out of it? controlling one of those hands very difficult if he can control one of the hands very difficult for a guy to choke you with one hand but Damian Maia is getting close to choking him with one hand especially if he can get that second hook in right now he's only got one hook if he can get his right leg in between Matt Ryan Brian Jensen's leg and his body he's got it right there that's the second hook Brian's doing a good job of holding that off but when he did you see here, Damian Maia's got the back, but he only has one hook in. He's trying to get that second hook in. Now, as Ryan Jensen tries to defend that second hook, he immediately sinks that choke. That's a split second. A split second of an opening right there was all he needed to get that arm free, sink that choke in fully. See, see Ryan Jensen? See how he tries to defend that hook? He just wants it. Bang! He uses that opportunity to sink that choke in for the tap.